guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing a brand new makeup tag that Jaclyn Hill just created and it's the Ride or Die makeup tag. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically my Holy Grail products, products I could not live without if I could choose one makeup product from each category to wear on my face for the rest of my life. That's what I'm going to be sharing. So if you're interested in hearing about my favorite products, a lot of which I'm wearing today, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I'm going to be starting off with primer, and this was a really easy pick for me because if you watch my tutorials, you might know what I'm going to pick, and I wear it pretty much every single day, and it's the Too Faced Hangover RX. Definitely have other primers in my collection, but I always wear this, even if I'm wearing another primer on top of it. I love it because it's hydrating, and I do have pretty dry skin, but it's also super, super lightweight, so it's not going to like make your face look greasy or anything like that. So I definitely love this and I would wear it for the rest of my life. So next we have foundation and this was actually really difficult because I have so many foundation favorites and a lot of foundations I rotate between. And I had one in mind but then I like had to change my mind because I had to be realistic with what do I go for the most in my collection. And it's gonna be the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I was going to choose the Makeup Forever HD foundation, but sometimes I feel like I almost make myself wear that foundation. I love it, but like if I know I'm going to be taking pictures like for my blog or Instagram or anything, I'm like, oh, this foundation photographs nicely, so I should wear that instead of this. So whenever I open my foundation drawer, it's like instinct to grab this foundation, but then I think, oh, I need full coverage or I want something with SPF in it. And then I go for my other foundations, but I think naturally I always want to choose this one. So next for concealer, this was actually a really easy pick, but you probably don't see me use it all that much. It's because I hate the packaging. I love the product, but I hate the packaging. And it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I use the shade NW20, and I love this concealer. It's so full coverage, but I hate that it's a pump because it's not practical at all. Like. I don't like having to dirty another brush and my beauty blender at the same time just to use this. And it is a really thick concealer, so if I use a brush with it, that brush is absolutely dirty right away. So I don't gravitate towards it as much because it takes a little bit more work than like the Urban Decay Naked, which is probably my second favorite. But this for sure is my absolute favorite. I wore it on my wedding day. I'm wearing it today. And the only reason I don't use it as much is because of the pump and also because I'm running out right now. But it's definitely my absolute favorite concealer. So I'm looking at everything I have left and I feel like I'm just such a creature of habit with products because if I find something I like, I'm never replacing it. And the next two, if you ever watch a single tutorial of mine, or anytime I'm applying makeup on my channel, I use these two products and they're powders. One's from Maybelline and one is from e.l.f. The e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder. I've probably purchased maybe a dozen of these. This is $3 just at e.l.f. or Target or anything and this is what I wear under my eyes. I've tried Laura Mercier like two or three times and I just wrote it off completely because this is very, very good powder. It does not show up in flash or anything. And then for a face powder, the Maybelline Translucent Powder is my absolute favorite. This is the Matte and Poreless Translucent. And I wear this powder every single day. Sometimes I'll wear like another colored powder or powder foundation on top, but to mattify my face completely, I wear this. And I like using it over eye primer too for my eyes just because it's super lightweight. So this is absolutely my favorite face powder. I don't see myself replacing placing it anytime soon probably bought like seven and it is super affordable so next for contouring I just want to do like a contour kit and I use this every single day too even if I'm using another kit in combination with it I definitely use at least one powder from this kit and it's the Lorac contour kit I definitely go through these three every single day sometimes I use these bronzers but I definitely use these face powders every single day I go to the Anastasia one too, but obviously I use this one more. This highlighter I wear under whatever highlighter I plan on wearing that day. So I always go in and after my foundation and powder and stuff, I'll put on this highlighter, then my blush, and then the highlighter that I want to sh actually show up on my face. So I love this. I always wear it on the center of my face. And then I also use this contour and this contour. So I basically use something from this palette every single day, and I definitely recommend it. So next I have bronzer, and I do feel like that could be a separate category from contour because I use both every day. It might be cheating a little bit, but I wanted to include both in this video. And this was actually a harder choice because there's a lot that I've gone between, but I'm picking one that's a new favorite and it's going to be the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but this is more worn in, like I've hit closer to pan in this bronzer 
Then any bronzer I have currently in my collection, so like Chocolate Soleil, Hoola, anything like that, I go for this so much more in its drugstore. I love the smell of it. I love anything that smells like beachy, coconutty. And I actually did surprise myself that I'm picking this over some high-end bronzers. I feel like in my head I'm like, I should pick the more expensive stuff. But I like this a lot more and I use it so much more than some of my high-end products. So next moving on to blush and this was a little bit harder. I actually was going to say something else until about 20 minutes ago because I really had to be realistic with what is my absolute favorite. And the one that I was going to originally say is Too Faced Love Flush Blush in Baby Love because I wore that pretty much every single day for about six months. But then once I got this new blush, I've been wearing it nonstop for like the past three months. And that is the Benefit Blush in the shade Dallas. And I essentially bought this Cheekathon palette because of the shade Dallas because I did have all of the other blushes in my collection. And I love this shade. It's basically a bronzer. <laughs> I love nude blushes. I don't really like seeing like pink on my face. I feel like it kind of looks off because I am so warm toned. So I love this blush and it works pretty much as a bronzer too. So it is very forgiving and I apply a ton of it on my face. Alright, so highlighter was hard too because I didn't want to say basically the same thing as everyone else and I was going to try to go through things in my collection and I did and I realized I don't really wear anything but this highlighter. So until recently, the only highlighter that I've been wearing on my face is Champagne Pop from Becca and I have it in this limited edition kit that came out last year. And I also have the bigger kit that Jaclyn Hill released maybe like a month ago. And I've been wearing this highlighter nonstop because it goes with absolutely everything and it's also not so like in your face but it's not so subtle either. I like having that in between where you could build it up or you could wear it more naturally too. So I think Champagne Pop's definitely my favorite. I wanted to say something more interesting or something we haven't talked about in a long time, but I think I'm definitely going to have to stick with Champagne Pop. So moving on to brows, I've tried a ton of different brow products, high-end and drugstore, and my favorite was from the drugstore up until recently, until I tried a new product this summer that I did review on my channel, and it's the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I love this brow pencil. It's so much better than the brow is. It's better than pretty much any brow product I've ever tried. I will repurchase this. This is still my first one. I know that I've probably gone through like four brow whizzes from Anastasia, so I was definitely repurchasing it and like happy with the results. I definitely like this a lot better. I probably would still use the brow whiz, but this works really good for my brows now, and I'm really happy with the results. So Benefit also makes my absolute favorite mascara, and that's the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, and this is not a fancy mascara at all. It's really plain and simple. Basically, it lengthens your lash lashes and curls them and that's essentially all I need because I have really bad natural lashes because I had an incident with individual lashes and some lash glue that ripped off my natural lashes so I have very sparse lashes so I can't use like Too Faced Better Than Sex and stuff like that anymore because I have like three lashes so it just looks like one little clump in the corner or something. And what I'll do a lot of times is apply one coat of this and then go in with whatever other volumizing mascara. I'm loving the pure fully charged mascara in right now too and I'll apply like a second layer of that on top. But this is definitely a staple. It's good for bottom lashes too so if I could just use one mascara for top and bottom that's awesome and it's also really good under falsies. So now we're getting into like my favorites of my favorites and I'm going to go in with my favorite eyeshadow and then I'm going to do my favorite eyeshadow palette. So my favorite eyeshadow, I'm wearing it on my lid today. I wore it on my wedding day and I wore it the day I got proposed to. So this is a really good eyeshadow and it's Anastasia Pink Champagne. It's this color. It's got a ton of love. This is my favorite like makeup product in my entire collection. So that is a color and it looks exactly what it sounds like, pink champagne. It's pink but it's not too too pink which I like because sometimes pinks look a little bit weird on me. It's more bronzy. I have it in the Shadow Couture palette. It was limited edition. I also have it in the Self Made palette but you could also buy it individual. It's definitely my absolute favorite eyeshadow of all time. It's so pretty. If I could like describe myself in an eyeshadow it would be this color. It's definitely like my favorite product in my collection. So next picking my favorite eyeshadow palette was incredibly easy. This I think about it all the time. I think about grabbing this palette every single day but I don't because you can't get it right now and that's why I don't wear it as much as I want and you might be able to wear it again soon because it's getting restocked I've heard in the fall and that's the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I love this palette so much. I wore this on my wedding day too. I'm wearing it right now. The only other reason I haven't been wearing it as often is because I took this on my honeymoon and I don't know if you guys can tell, it's so subtle. It's such like 
the most minute problem in the world. So when I was coming back from my honeymoon and going through customs, the guy that was in charge of taking the baggage literally took my bag, like he legit took my bag, put it over his head and tossed it down on to the conveyor belt. And I just thought, there goes my sweet peach palette. Like, I was so angry because he, he literally, like, I'm not even joking, he literally put it over his head and tossed it like several feet away and I was so mad because I knew I wouldn't see my bag for like several hours later but I knew that something was going to happen to my sweet peach palette because I knew it wasn't too buried deep into my luggage. Like I did actually wrap it in like a sweater but I knew that something bad was going to happen. It bothers me so much. It's so little but it just reminds me of that moment of that guy going like throwing my bag onto the conveyor belt like he was out to get me. It made me so mad. But this is definitely my Holy Grail palette. It's the best palette that I have ever gotten. And I don't say that lightly because eyeshadow palettes are my favorite thing to collect. They're my favorite thing to buy for sure. And let me show you guys. I <laughs> show you guys what's in the palette. So this is what the palette looks like. It has a ton of neutrals. They're super warm. I wore these shades on my wedding day in combination with pink champagne. And I do want to do a tutorial. I wrote down everything that I wore that day. So um, once I get my wedding pictures back, I will do a tutorial on what I actually wore on my wedding day. And I did hear that this palette is coming back in stock in November, and I think it was the owner of Too Faced who actually put it on his Instagram. So I'm assuming it is true, and I hope that it does come back because I want to start doing more tutorials with it because it is my favorite palette, and I never really wear it because... I don't want to post pictures wearing a palette that you guys can't get or anything so I'm hoping this does come back soon and you guys can get it too if you didn't get it the first time around. So moving on to lip products and I'm going to start off with a lipstick and know that I don't really wear lipsticks anymore. I wear a lot of like matte lip creams or liquid lipsticks, stuff like that. But I went through my lipstick collection and I just thought what is the lip color that I was wearing before I got really into liquid lipsticks and that is Cream Cut from MAC and that's what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's a really peachy nude and I love the smell of the MAC lipsticks. They remind me of um, like Jordan almonds, like those candy coated almonds. So this is the color. It's more of a pink nude and this is actually a cream sheen finish. And now I'm so used to full coverage lip colors like liquid lipsticks but I remembered why I love this lipstick so much because it is sheer so it was something that I could like apply through the day and not really have to think about it so much and it's a really pretty nude. So I do love this color and it made me remember why I love MAC lipsticks. They're so pretty and the formula is awesome and the smell is amazing. So moving on to liquid lipsticks and I've talked about this color on my channel before and it's Dusty Rose from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my favorite color. I wore it on my wedding day. It's super long wearing. This is the swatch of the color and it's very nude mauve -y shade and it's kind of hinting towards purple but it's not super cool either. Up until this summer I probably would have said that Colourpop Clueless was my favorite liquid lipstick but the Colourpop formula is just so drying compared to Anastasia so I had to replace it. Basically this is the same color. I was actually originally going to wear Clueless on my wedding day and I remember one day I was putting it on and I told my mom, I'm like, I'm going to wear this on my wedding day and she's like, oh, okay, that's pretty. And like she looked at me like two hours later and she's like, don't wear that. And I'm like, why? It feathered so bad and just looked like really gross basically because it gets really cracky. Like it makes your lips look super, super dry. So that's basically the same color as this, but the formula is just a lot better. Next for lip gloss, and I didn't even like lip glosses until I discovered this, and it's the Buxom Lip Gloss specifically in the shade Dolly. I just love this formula, but this shade specifically is my favorite. And it's this like mauve nude shade. Basically my favorite color in a lip gloss form. But this is the color and it's fairly pigmented, which I like because you can kind of build it up. And whenever I wear this, I usually wear it alone. I basically apply it like chapstick, which I probably shouldn't because it is expensive. It is like a $20 lip gloss. But I love that it is pretty pigmented and it also makes your lips feel super hydrated. And I have the old formula of this one, which is really minty. But I know they just reformulated and I have a couple of their glosses that don't have that like minty taste or flavor to them. It's just kind of more neutral or vanilla but they are actually plumping so they are lip plumping and I do feel like it does give an effect. I don't know if it just feels like tingly on my lips and I feel like my lips look bigger but it does give a plumping effect. It makes your lips look really hydrated at least and it makes your lips look really full. And so for my last product I have a setting spray and this is something I apply on my face every single day even if I use another setting spray on top of it. I always apply this on my face in some way and that's Max Fix Plus. I know this has been talked about forever, but I feel like people don't really like use it anymore. I don't see people using it as much. I see more like Urban Decay products. 
this is definitely my favorite and I actually love what it feels like and what it smells like it kind of smells like it's, I can't even describe it. it almost smells like almost manly I don't know if manly is the best word it's not floral or it's not like it doesn't smell feminine it smells like more gender neutral I guess it's not like cologne or anything but I like the smell a lot. I love the feeling it gives me on my face when I apply it. It just feels really, really refreshing. I don't know if it makes my makeup last any longer, but I do know that it makes my makeup look better. So any makeup mistake I have, like if my face looks really cakey, I always apply this or apply it to my beauty blender and just dab it on my face. And also intensify eyeshadow. I did that today. I do it almost every single day with this product. I love it for that. It just brings out the colors in any product you have. Basically, it transforms any makeup product in my collection and makes it better. I'll mix it into my foundation. Like, I use this for everything. I used it yesterday as hairspray, not on purpose, but it actually looked okay. So I use this for everything. I feel like this is a makeup product that reminds me of, like, you know in my Big Fat Greek Wedding when the dad is, like, obsessed with Windex? I feel like this is that of makeup. Like, if anything goes bad on my face, I just spray this wherever it needs to be and... I assume it's fixing the problem. I'll put it like on my bare face to hydrate my skin because it's really, really good. It's like $15 or $18, but it's definitely worth it. I feel like it does so much for my makeup. Okay, so that was a lot of products. Those are all of my favorites from every category and not just favorites because I do have so many favorites, but like if I had to wear the same products every single day for the rest of my life, those are the products I would definitely choose. They might not be my favorites for certain occasions, but those for every single day on like a normal basis, those are definitely the products I would choose. So that's everything for this video, guys. Please let me know your ride or die makeup products in the comments down below. If you liked my favorites, if you hate them, if you have better options for me, just let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And remember, I do have a giveaway open right now for some Kylie liquid lipsticks so if you guys want to win those I'll leave the giveaway link down below you just have to be subscribed to my channel but make sure you enter through that link to enter to win the giveaway so I hope you enjoyed this tag and I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video thank you so much for watching bye